Well, good morning and welcome to the Tony's Tackle Sea Fishing Channel. We're back on the beach and in fact, we're back down at White Horses for the over 50s midweek competition. So uh, looks like it's a good turnout. Yeah, look, a really good turnout. Morning. Yeah, how you doing? Good, looks like a good turnout. Do you know how many people are fishing it today? Uh, 17. 17. 17. Uh, not quite so many. It's uh, a bit of weather might put a few people off. Well, I would think the lack of bait has probably put a few people off, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's been hard. So, yeah. <laughs> right, well, the competition has started. First couple of rods have gone out. A few a bit slow getting ready. <laughs> Bit of an avalanche going on. Yeah. I'll chuck it on down here, and yeah, I. Yeah, no, quite. The tide's going that way. All right. This reel's buggered. Great start, isn't it? I've got a nice reel for sale. Might we'll have to buy it, look. It's playing games, that is. <laughs> I ain't got a spare one. A bit of butter on it. <laughs> Right, so that's it, the competition has started. Well, I hit it and got it, the big one, 58. Yeah. And then I've got one last cast, that slap line, I'll let that, get that, let that go, get going. They, they come back, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come back yeah, and have yeah. another go. Yeah. They get off the bar, the yeah. they drop off. I know. Oh. I've had them down there, them, you see them. Well, they, I mean, they get a mouthful of bait, and they're not even hooked, and they just hang on, don't they? And then when, they, when it gets to the surf, they go and they let go. In, in that match last week, they had three upside down hooks, and that's Ling, isn't it? Yeah, they yeah. turn it, and uh, Chris had one get off yeah. in his bucket. Yeah. He turned around, he was gone. But that's because last cast, there's 15 minutes to go, and I've got a Ling bite. I can't bring it in now, but I'll leave it. Come off, upside down hook. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joe. He just checked the adding up. All right, mate. You're right. You're in the hot spot today. Who is? You are. Mm -hmm. in that hole. There's a big hole here. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be dinglings and dabs today, though, isn't it? Wow. Well, I think I'll, it could I'll be the result up, right? But I'm not There's taking three, it. There's three, three up and two, three up. Three up down the line. I want two up today. Yeah. They're all I want. Got that, that that be it. There's three in there. Oh, down the line, not droppers. Just down the line. Not that new one that. No. Oh, I've got one of them on. Yeah, but I don't think you need to cast it. No, though. probably don't, do you? I'm no, not really trying. Buy it. That's all quiet, man. You think? Yeah, probably other side. Um, yeah, we got to get that done. Yeah. Did you buy it? Yeah, I did. I can't believe it. It's really raising. It's raising, Jerry. What are you doing? There's thousands. Oh, better. That's good. Really, an investor will it up, is it? <laughs> but he's just giving me a new rig, isn't he? Yeah, I've got new ones in there. Especially three up, that's no good. No, no, that's easy. Two up, old fast. Bloody hell, Kerry, it's bait's getting outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, I've done comic Monday, I've got 12 Monday, I've got that 15 Tuesday night. I've had no bait in the week. Nah, Colin went until he got 70. Morning. He got no, 270 my bike. 270. And 270 this morning. Yeah. 270. But that's a miracle. He's been getting nothing. Eh? He's been getting nothing. He's no. got 270, which is good, isn't it? Now, he's now a bit It's too cold. Yeah, but he's digging, he's digging fresh out. He's digging a lot more because they're rubbish. Well, I'm having to take what I can. It's quite embarrassing, you know? You're doing that, 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 you're doing
quite a nice rig, Gilles. It's just two up the line. Sometimes when it's a little bit rough like this, the bottom dropper tends to tangle yeah. one off the bottom. So two up the line is probably a good shout, really. And okay, there yeah. There might be a few little white in there to play and things, so it's not a bad rig at all. Hey, the blue sky up there. Is that? Yeah. Needs to be. My oh, brolly's in there. These are sharp, these salt water channel things. Absolutely. Gerald got one in his hand the other day. Yeah, I know he too. said. I don't get one in my finger. Yeah. Right they are sharp. Yeah, they're sharp. They are sharp. So I've got both in, I was using camera sands last night and I've got both B940s, I've got both my dogs in. Right. So they were all right. I didn't miss one. Chris missed one. He'd have had two. Yeah. David was on the wrong peg as well, just to add to the fun. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> He's on peg, he should have been on peg 16. He oh, he was on, on 18. Rogue's peg had come along late. Oh, he was on 18. That's what he didn't go after. The perils of fishing. Got something anyway. Yeah. Right, so Tony's winding into something. He's had his first bite. See if he's got his first the first fish. I have seen the fish coming up the beach down that way, so there are fish getting caught. Yeah, very nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Took both hooks, look. Greedy. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, no, it hasn't. No. Just tangled around it. Well, I'll get down here. I don't know if I'm going to get back up again, Chris. Another flatty coming in. Nice one. This is the wrong thing here. Sand is on. Sand is on. Dog is here. Yeah, hey, nice, one. <laughs> Yeah. Long and thin, isn't it? Better be long. Than long. 30. Yeah. Yeah. You like that? Nice one. Yeah, I'll put them both back if you want. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I think yours bigger. 31, I spent. It's wider, isn't it? It's just a wider fish. Maybe it's a male and a female. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? It's, right, it's a, 30, leave it, yeah, I'll write 30 it, yeah. mine, 29 yours. Yeah. I'll go and get my pen for the next oh, one. But I'll yes. put these back for you. Yeah, yeah I'll, oh, I'll go and check them back. So there's been a little flurry of place coming, so let's have a walk down and see how everyone's getting on. Um, it's quite a difficult beach at the moment, because where they've been building, rebuilding the beach, the tide's come along and scoured it away left a little cliff so it's not easy to get up and down the beach yeah down the road there's one you see it yeah got a few roads here I'm going to try and in the way right I'm going to walk down and have a chat to people okay. and I'll see you in a bit right, see you in a bit so how are you doing? alright oh, yeah not bad yeah you had anything or not? 
bait a bit. Oh, I think everyone struggled with bait. Yeah, I thought some women had up with that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, yeah, you meant that. That's better than some of the baits I've seen. Oh, yeah, nice rag. Yeah. Oh, the digs are bad. The yeah, diggers have had a real yeah, nightmare. Yeah. All this rain and it's cold and everything, isn't it? Yeah. There's yeah. a lot happening today, isn't it? No. Not necessarily that Well, there's a couple of places coming up here. Is there? Yeah. 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 Tony's had one and the guy behind him's had one. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. And I think I saw something coming up further up the beach there, so... Oh, so there is a few places about. Already, it's early, isn't it? Yeah. Early in the Alright, well, I'll, I'll walk back again. I'll see you in the corner. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, see Cheers. Right. How you doing? I'm terrible. Really? Yeah. It's only a second pass, though. Yeah. Not even a fight yet. Okay. There's a couple of places coming down yeah, the end there. Time, yeah, nice. and I think I saw something coming up a bit further down, so... Oh, was there? Yeah, I think so. So there's a few fish about. It's early yet, don't Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, we've only been fishing 35 minutes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll improve. Yeah, no, it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. I'm just going to get a few. Yeah. I mean, water's coloured, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Right, it's not ideal for the white in and the lovely. Yeah. Dogs, but, uh, don't like it too, no, but as I say, there's a few come in, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, there's every chance of a dogfish, isn't it? I mean, yeah, dogfish are big yeah. points, aren't they, so... Yeah. Alright, well, stay lucky and I'll, I'll catch you on the way back through. Will do. Cheers. Oh. How you doing? Um, just one other size of Nice. Oh, you've had, oh, okay. So that's all right. Just I mean, one. That was the first chuck. Yeah. Was. Well, they, they, they uh, Tony and, and I don't know the guy at the end. He's, they both had a had a place. So. Good ones were they? Thirty. One was twenty nine. One was thirty. All oh, right. So the size. That's slightly. Oh, it's promising then. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I must admit, I thought it would be absolutely. Uh, well, I, I did. Disaster. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean uh, everyone's the the bait's not good, is it? I mean, people have got no. crap bait. No, that's a, that's rubbish. But. Yeah. But the water looks dirty, if anything, you would yeah. think that the uh, well, dogfish. Place. Oh, dogfish as well, yeah. yeah. I mean, clear water, you know, where it has been clear, there hasn't yeah. been. The place, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's very early, so let's keep fishing and. It's up well, it's a couple, yeah, so you yeah. never know. Right, I've got a long way to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 17 people fishing. I've got one, done one, two, three, four, five. So I've got another 12 to speak to. I'll yeah. catch you later. Okay. Cheers, in. Towards the end of the building, you're okay, you're right, you're right there. Then we'd end up yeah. virtually to the tower. You know, well, it's, it's, a, it's a pity we can't go straight up onto the, you know, get that gate open yeah. and we drive up there. It's yeah. brilliant, Matty. How are we doing? Yeah, good. Hello, all um, right? Yeah, you doing all right? Yeah. Anything caught here yet? No, nothing. Running second jump. Oh, well, they've had a couple of places down the end there. Oh, well, they? Tony? Yeah, Tony's had one, and, and the guy at the end, oh, yeah, Kerry, yeah. Yeah, yeah they both had a place. One was dirty, one was 29, I think. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there are place about. Oh, there was, like, a little flurry of them at the same time. Kerry said, it's a bit cloudy. I don't think there'd be any place. <laughs> it doesn't matter up here, No, does it? it doesn't. No. Yeah. Well, I fished a little match last night and I'm blanked, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, the angling club. Oh, uh, right. No match thing. Oh yeah. Did Tony win it or something? Well, he didn't win it when they did the awards, but when he went back and checked the cards, he had won it. So. <laughs> yeah. So there was a bit of a. Uh, the, well, I don't think that scored that who had ever done his points had scored the right points for the dogfish he had. He had oh. two, two good dogfish. So he, yeah, I think so they gave him 60 odd points. It should have been 74 points or something. So. The other lot, and he, they don't measure dogfish, it's 50. No, I think that's, 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 that makes so much sense, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Just give them away. Yeah. 50 points, I think, down Hastings. Yeah. That's what they're doing here. Oh, yeah. they Switchy chips, 50 points for dogfish. Yeah, I think, it? yeah I don't matter how big it is. No, no, that's fair to do. Yeah. You can win and you can lose, don't yeah. you? Yeah. 
The only downside on that is if you fish right to the end and you get a big dogfish, you're in with a chance, aren't you? Yeah, so, if, if you're doing a catch and relief measuring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was hoping for last night, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I think I had one on, but I was usually tiny at looks and it came off as it was coming in, so. How many fished it? Uh, I think it was 12. 12 yeah, it was 12, because five blanked. Well, that night, we fished Tuesday night, 27 fished it. All right. And only seven people caught fish, and that's at night. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, it, the top weight was two dads. It's scratchy this time of the year, isn't it? Yeah, it's one with two dabs. So I, that's what I was hoping for last night. I thought it'd be dabs. So I was, I, I put everything, I have manky bloody lugworm with tiny little looks. Oh, that's what uh, I put out there now, but it ain't done no good. No. Yeah. I see Gerald come walking up to you earlier, oh. didn't he? Yeah, he had some rigs for, uh, for Tony. He's down there, where is Gerald? He's down there, I'll find him down Yeah, I'll be there. Sure I'll be there. He's winding it or something. Oh yeah, it's got a little flatty. Yeah. There you go. That's that's sizable, isn't it? That's over 18. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, go and get that one, Phil. Ta da! Nice little flatty. Yeah, that's starting it. Yeah. Of course, that's going to go in the bucket. Well done. How you doing? All right. Boss. All right. Did I see you bring a, a, a fish in earlier on? No. All oh, right. It's, uh, in my drinks. All oh, right. Okay. Well, there's been a few plays caught now. Oh, there has. Yeah. He's just had one. Tony's had one, and uh, Kerry down the end's had one. Okay. So they're, they're, they're there. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, that's right. So you've got the old Sonic Gravity, lovely red rod, yeah. Yeah, that's right. The tips are a bit soft, but uh, yeah. it helps with me because I'm yeah. a bit disabled, so it's right, not okay. soft for casting. But uh, yeah, I'm yeah. doing, a, I'm doing a, a, do a tackle with you on the Sonic HT. Yeah. So it'd be good to be able to put this into it. Say this is the, the origins of it all. It's, uh, these are excellent rods. Yeah. But when there's a decent tide pulling, yeah. the tips just sit round too far. Yeah, yeah. They're all right. Yeah. But it's more than you want. It's more than it's yeah. not comfortable, if you know what I mean. I think from what Tony was saying, he spoke to the guy, people who make Sonic or the, the Sonic people, and he said you want a stiffer tip, and that's how they came up with the HT exactly X5 with a stiffer tip. Exactly that. I've yeah. used them on chisel. Yeah. In big tides. Yeah. Codling and had decent codling and they've done absolutely fine. Yeah. But so the sort tips just sit around further than yeah. it doesn't look right. No, right. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Want I a do. bit more in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the trouble when the tips all the way around like that, you're not going to see any bites because it's it's already there, isn't it? So Yeah, it just <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's, most of the time it's drop backs anyway. Yeah. But um yeah, it just doesn't it doesn't look right. It no, just looks right. like there's yeah. not enough in them. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, the HT is definitely the way to yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. But you know. Right. All right, you get on, mate. I'll get out of your way. How are we doing? Well, no? no. A few plates coming in. Good. Yeah. I'll say a few. I think I've seen three and one I've heard of one undersized one. But they're there. Which you'd think with the water being this yeah. cloudy. I've seen so many razors in my life. No. Unbelievable, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. It's covered in them. Well, I, I walked up, I, I filmed the PBAC the other, on Sunday. Yeah. And when the tide was out, and there were areas where, you know, like four or five square metres of just of piles of shells. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Yeah, this side doesn't go in it. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. It's just it's covered in it. You've got to wonder why. Mm, yeah, I've never seen so many roads no. down this way before. No, no. It's not washed up dead like that. 
Well, not even a live one. She's no. down the boat. Yeah. Well, I know what I've... you see is yeah. rays are sticking up. Well, I've seen, I mean, I've been out that bait digging down here a while back and there was loads then, yeah? and every time you put the pump yeah, in, you get him crunching. Now. Yeah. Last time I went down there, we could see the rays yeah. sticking up. I wonder. There's obviously been some sort of imbalance in the in the, the, the in, in the the balance of life. Yeah. That suddenly you've got a big bloom of rays like too many that they can't they can't survive because there's too many of them yeah. in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I think right. he's thinking he's going to be covered in. <laughs> <laughs> well. The thing is, is, is it'll it'll fill up in where he is. It'll fill up in water in that like a lagoon, wouldn't it? Yeah. Might do. Yeah. Goes through, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bit of motion on the rod tip then. Yeah. Oh well, give us a shout if you get a fish on. I'll come back yeah, and film it. Yeah. So this is how to put your beach shelter up when the wind's blowing. Bury the base of it first. Morning! Hello mate, you right? Oh, I'm having a bit of a drama at the moment. <laughs> having a bit of a drama at the moment. I think that tide's going to come up a bit higher than I thought. Yeah. And the wind's also getting up. So yeah, it is a bit breezy, isn't it? I'm going to move this before it rains. Yeah. We'll get bedded down here. Lovely. Yeah, I've got one of these. I don't think the skirts the skirts could do with being about six inches longer. Cut the bottom of the legs off. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then you, you get it more, all right, it's not as tall. Yeah. But you get it down on the ground better. Yeah. So obviously the skirt, but I find this is one of the best ones around. Oh, it's great when it's up, but it's just doing what you're doing now. The leg, as you're right, the legs are too long, so when you stand it up, all the shingle comes off the skirt. That's it, that's it. Yeah. I cut mine down. Yeah, I guess not a bad idea. That's just a good shout, maybe I'll do that. You don't lose a lot on it, no, and no. it beds it down yeah. a little bit better. Sort of like a place up there, is he? Yeah, he's had, had a 29, and Tony's had a 30. Lovely. Just have a look at your gear. So you've got Diver. What's the, what's the reel? That's a Darwa Turbo. Dar Darwa Turbo. Darwa Turbo. Yeah. Asso the... line. Uh, that's a Power Flex leader. Right. Uh, yeah, basically sort of what, like... And what's the rod? The rod, it's a Talakana. Oh, right. we had this conversation before, haven't it's we? Talakana. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... Sort of... Yeah, so nice one. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah, happy days. <laughs> happy days. Happy days. Well, I've got a bit of feedback on one of my videos saying you should do more about the tackle. So this is a Talakana being cast by Mr. Fridge. Whoa, lovely action. That goes out a tidy distance, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've got a bit of a dodgy shoulder, getting yeah. old. Yeah, we all, all are. <laughs> I'll catch you later, will you? See you later. Tell them, mate. And you, and you. Mr. Hopper, how you doing, mate? Rubbish. There's been a few places coming down further up that way. Yeah, a few. Well, there isn't any down here. Well, not yet. What time? What, what's the tide still coming in? Yeah. I think so. What time's the top? Do you know? All right. No, I didn't know. Okay. No, I didn't. Uh, it's just. <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it? It's right. Yeah. Oh, well, if they've got place coming up there, that's quite good then. Yeah, yeah, no, quite. Yeah. Um, I would say some, I think I've seen three size will one undersize. That was when I was up there, I obviously might have changed that. So, I mean, everyone's everyone's struggling for bait at the moment. You, you've you managed to get some fresh outs from the Angler's Den, I believe, yeah? Yeah, yeah I did. I yeah. got 20 fresh outs from the Angler's Den and right. picked up all them burns and all them razors. All the razors. The, oh, blimey, yeah. Just from the shore. Yeah. Free bait, yeah, and, and that's yeah. a natural food because the fish are gorging on it, yeah. isn't it? So. I mean, those plates that I, uh, I I cooked last week, they were they were full of razor clams. Yeah. Oh, hello, see, oh. I brought in some fortune. <laughs> Gold. 
So it's not the curse of the camera. No. And what we do, because of COVID, we allow people to measure their own fish. Right, okay. In front of yeah. someone. And 21, 22 even. 21. Uh, no, you fill it in yourself. And we let people fill it in themselves okay. because yeah. no cost cost contamination. No, whatever. absolutely. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's your ruler, don't you? Yeah? Right. Yeah. yeah, and he's putting the fish back. Yeah. Lovely. Came in a bucket of water, straight back in the water. That's what we like to see. Yeah, so. Well, that's and, because of COVID. That's what yeah. we do. And, and, and for those those uh, course anglers out there say that we're throwing the fish back in, the problem is is that if you get down too close, you get swamped by a wave. So you have got there's got to be a little bit of a chuck that goes into this. Well, yeah. But otherwise, they don't get out there. No. And, and to be honest, I think the fish, I've heard it said that they they fare better if they get that plunge in the water because they get a big big dose of oxygenated water as they go in the water, which gets get you know gives them like a kick start. Dogfish are the worst. Yeah. They come in. They always swim in after you throw them back. Yeah. They come to the light, don't they? If you've got a headlight and they swim back at the light. Yeah. But um, the most important thing is really the bucket of water. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I put on mine a little, I put an oxygenator on it. Well, that's going um, a bit too bad. And it, to be <laughs> honest, it, the, the, I was keeping whiting alive in it, and normally whiting yeah. don't survive, so. But it is a bit of a fact. Right now, I've been, I've been, um, I've been a, a critique from somebody. They want to see more tackle reviews on these walkarounds. So I'm going to have a look at your Yuki, but I don't want you to say how much it costs. I will leave it to the viewers to work it out because I now know how much they cost. Yeah. So let's have a look at Ian's Yuki. I looked at one in, in the den um, the other day. They are very nice. So it's a Yuki Kenta, it's a plus TRT, 4.5 metres, very slim rod, beautiful light tip, but you can see that it's, it's a tip with a bit of backbone to it, because it's not moving around in the wind hardly, but I mean look at, look at the, thickness, the thinness of that tip, yeah it's a beautiful rod, a beautiful rod, a thing of beauty, but have a go on Google, and have a guess at what this costs, this rod. Now the reel he's got on her is a uh, Tronics Pro Virtuoso XT. I don't know what they cost either. But yeah, go online, have a look and see what you think. Uh, innovation leader. So, so, so the, actual, the actual reels was a, is a Tronics, it's about 60 pounds, 65 right. pounds. Um, and I decided I was going to stick with them reels. Um, so when I first put braid on it, I sort of counted how many turns. Yeah. And I got to the end of the braid and I counted 300 turns and I looked at the braid, it was 300 meters. <laughs> so 300 turns, 300 meters? Yeah. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> So there you go. So, so it's a metre return. Basically a metre return. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, obviously it's not because it, it as, yeah, as the spool fills up, the yeah. turn is more meter, yeah, meterage, right. but yeah, yeah on, exactly. it averages out over 300. That's um, 0.17 braid. Yeah. With tapered Yuki shot leader. All right. You, you use a monofill shot leader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A Yuki shot leader. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've started using braid as a shock leader. I quite like it, but That's, yeah. The only trouble with braid, it's not very shock resistant. So, so if you get, you will crack off of it if, if you get well, something not, happens. It's not very shock resistant. Personally, I think it might be dangerous a little bit because it's, it doesn't want to break. Yeah. So if it, something bad goes happen, and also when you come to catch fish, you haven't got that bit of slack. No. To hook the fish. Sometimes. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I've, I'm, 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 the trouble is I never do two, two things twice the same. I always try something different. And so I've, I've, I'm starting to use braid and a multiplier, which a lot of people go, <gasps> no, really? No, I, I started doing that. I, when I first started using braid, yeah. I started using it on the multiplier and it works fine. Yeah. It works very well. And then, to be honest, it was Joe Plumstead 
and started using graves on a fixed horn reel. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that, that looks quite interesting. Yeah. And then with the cannon, the cannon's the important thing. Yeah, no, without a doubt. On the back of the rod. Yeah. Oh, you have it on the back of yeah, the rod? Yeah, it's on the back of the rod. Yeah. Hmm. So that makes it exactly the same as the multiply. Yeah, I suppose it would do. It's thumb on it. Yeah, he's got his thumb on it. Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, I've got mine on the bottom of the rod, so I'm, I, I'm like casting a fixed ball. I'm, I've got my finger to release. Um, yeah. Oh, no, but I've seen some people put two or three wraps around that little centre pedestal, and I don't know the reason for it. I think that's that, that it's instead of just hooking it underneath, the, you know, the, the, the cannon. Yeah. You know, you, I just hook it under once and then clamp it in place with the with the trigger, and it it's, it, it doesn't. It's never oh, slipped no, on me. No, yeah, I know you double yeah. double do it. No, but, you don't need to do it. No. It just to me it just smacks that there is a possibility that that could catch on there. All I will say, and with my experience. If that's a centimetre too high or too low, yeah. then when you cast, it will go normally excessively to the right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I found that out because I had two rods so yeah. casting. I couldn't work out why one was casting straight and yeah. the other one was casting a bit like Gerald. <laughs> yeah, a bit like Gerald. And, yeah. and it was purely the cannon was yeah. a centimetre lower or higher oh, okay because i mean i, I did find that it, it took me a while to get the timing right when i got a cannon on it yeah. the timing is definitely different yeah. um yeah. i just i just I don't, I don't like the idea of a finger fob because again there is a possibility it could catch in a fold in the finger fob as you as you as you're casting yeah. um and also they end up stinking <laughs> yeah that to you put them in the wash but no that's that's the only thing i'd say is that People try the cannons and they find they're going because what happens is the cannon can't hold the line no. when you put the tension on it, so yeah. it automatically brings it out to the yeah. line. So, yeah. yeah, it's uh, yeah. I say it, I, it for for those of you out there thinking about a cannon or tried a cannon and couldn't get on with it, it takes a little bit of practice because the timing is definitely different, definitely different on your cast. But it's worth persevering with because they they are shockproof as shot proof as you can get. Oh yeah. Because of my hip replacement. Yeah. And the, that way the box Oh. That's been out an hour. Not been touched there. Well, the bottom might something might have had a knock yet, but yeah. want to get your 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 nice car. Gerald's got a second rod, a second Sonic HD, all tapped it up, ready to go in case he cracks off or has a nightmare. So I'm just, I was just looking at your gear. What did Tony have in that? What? Just now? No, the one he had first. Shut. Yeah, he had a place. LB. 30. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Good one, he's winning. And then uh, Kerry had a, had a 29 about the same time. Did he? Yeah, and it carries was bigger than Tony's, but it wasn't wasn't as long. It was wider. Fish on Sunday day. Yeah, yeah. 
I take it you're not adding anything here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be fishing down this end, it seems to be all, all up the end there. Yeah, it didn't fish on Sunday. Yet. Right. I'm only about 50 yards out. Yeah. That's it, that's my little going close up the chuck there. I've had enough of this fishing when there ain't no fish there. So he's got one of 30. Well, he had, yeah, he had. I mean, he might have had another one. Had more, he? might they, know it is. Yeah. He's had a pretty bad run lately. So, so Gerald has rigged his Sonic up with a reel down. So, um, obviously there's a bit of jiggery pokery gone on with the with, with the, the reel settings to do that. Why why'd you put why'd you fish with a reel down, Gerald? I just always have done when I first started. Everybody yeah. did. Right. And when we used to go down the tournament casting and that. Yeah. That's how we used to. Use it. I mean, I use a multiplier down, I must admit, but it, it, it just seems a bit strange to use it. Well, a... I used to use a multiplier, yeah, yeah. and then, obviously, yeah. as I got older, you changed it. Yeah. And things get harder, yeah. so you, the multiplier is easier. Yeah. I was talking to Ian, he's got he's got a cannon on his, but he has a cannon on top of the rod. I know he does, yeah, the angler thing started that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like casting a multiplier, it's all with a thumb. Yeah, well that is uh, Yeah. Yeah. And, and and to be honest, with a big spool down like that, that would make sense. Because it would it, it, it just feel strange for me to, to be using your finger with the reel down, but... Um, it's okay, it's, it works all right. Yeah. I might give that a go. It's not a very good day for... I don't like trying to cast left. I'll be much better trying to just go straight. Yeah. Look at all these razor clouds. It's just unbelievable. There's so many that seagulls don't even know. How are you getting on? <laughs> Blanking? Yep. You and oh, quite a few oh, others. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh. Uh, that's either Gerald got me. No, oh. Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. <laughs> got a heart racing for a second there. Yeah. Bit of fly United. Well, it got the adrenaline racing for a little while, didn't it? And my heart actually beat then. Yeah. It gave me hope. <laughs> Down here, I don't think anybody's at No, no. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on? Hello, Chris. All right, mate. I take it you're the same as most that not doing very well. No. Awful, but gets you out of the house, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Have you been fishing seafood? Uh, I haven't fished seafood for a while now, actually. Um, I fished fished a competition last night. Yeah. Blanked. Did you? <laughs> yeah. So it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I've been, I've, do you know what? I've had three fishes there recently. Right. I've had one bite, and that's it. What a seafood? Yeah. Yeah, I must. I must. I, I, I just think it's not quite right yet. No, this you know, is, another this couple always, of weeks, and I think it'll come. A dodgy month, yeah, yeah. The, the winter fish have gone, yeah. and the summer fish haven't really started, have they? So, but yeah. Isn't it weird these that they don't fish? Yeah, but then they probably 
I'd say they're fed up with them, but they won't be because they'll keep on feeding, but... Yeah. Yeah. New Haven Harbour. Yeah. What's that? Butterfish. You know, oh. like the clam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely full of butters. Oh, right. I just went with the bucket load up. Right. And then I even... No. It's weird because there are some some natural baits that it just don't work on a hook. No. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? And yet you know the fish are food. They, they always used to be deadly. Yeah, it's like little hardback crabs. Yeah. If you get a cod, they're full of little hardback crabs. Well, you, you fish you, with them. You no. Them, no. You? no. No, it's weird. It is weird. But yeah, there's not many fish. No. I haven't heard of anybody with two, so... No, well... Uh, th Terry's the only one this side with one, isn't he? Kerry's had one, Terry, Tony's had one, and... Um, Terry Taylor's had one. Yeah. But and that's, I think that's it. it. But I haven't been up there for a while, so I'll go back in a minute and see if yeah. Tony's had anything more. But it ain't over yet. No. It ain't over. Right, well, stay lucky. I'll catch you when I come back through. Yeah, cheers, mate. Ta-da. Oh, nothing. Yeah, no, yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything happening down this end, does it? Too many raises out there in the water, mate. Well, yeah, I mean, there is a lot, isn't there? There oh, is an awful lot. Of yeah. Yeah, no, there is a lot. Whether they were, whether they were overfed, I don't know. Well, I, I had a couple of plates from the, from the PBAC map the other day. Oh, I took right. them home and, and I cooked them. Yeah. And, uh, and they were full of razor fans. Yeah, the guts, I mean, they, 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 you can see their guts were fat, they were fat. So they're feeding up after spawning, so... so oh, well. that's, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I mean, I you know, you, you know, I watched one of your videos where your rod fell over. Oh. Yeah. Do you, do you know what your mistake was? What? You had it on the wrong side of the rod rest to work the way you were fishing. Right. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You had it on this side. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you had it. Yeah. The carries that moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this side. Yeah. Pushes yeah. it down. So yeah, I looked at it. I thought, oh, it's expensive. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I use these rings. Yeah. You only yeah. flattens them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nice cast. Yeah, Every day's a school day. Yeah, you always look fine there with that. Hey, get it on. Oh, all right. Hello, all right. How's it going? Yeah. It's going all right for me because I ain't fishing. Oh, I've had a double shot. You had a double shot, have you? Yeah. Oh, what? Place? Yeah, there you go. Come on, then. No, mate, it's done. It's not good, is it? Tony's winning at the moment, but and, and uh, that's if, if nothing else has been caught in the interim. Mad, isn't it? If, you, if you think like um, go back four weeks and the sea was alive with them pin white, yeah, they gone. Yeah, no, they vanished, haven't they? Crazy. Yeah, I mean, I fished a match last night and I'm blanked. What, no man? Yeah. Tony had some doggies, didn't he? He did. Yeah, there was some dogs caught. Um, I mean, the bloke next to me had a two. Um, the bloke to my left had a little flounder. And I had. Oh, cool. Was that on the point? Uh, no, I was at I was at Cambridge Road. Oh, down that end. Yeah, it was down by the East, Eastbourne Angling Club, either side of that. Yeah. You can leave it out there for two hours and they're not, they're not touched, are they? They're still, they're still getting up there. Yeah. Well, I think, I think the final trick is you ring for today. Yeah, I think you might be right. Hello. Well, Tony will be happy. <laughs> what, if he wins? Yeah. What? 
actually with bits inside? Still, still some with bits inside, yeah. I mean, most of them are empty, but they've been the, the goals of Adam, haven't they? I think, I think that's what we're Yeah, I think so. And yet, people who are using razor cam and bait aren't catching no, any fish either. No, I know. I can't understand it. If they were... Uh, young things that they used to come up... Oh, but the old, yeah, just slip Olympics. Slip Olympics. You would put them on, you wouldn't have any bait. Come no. down no lug. Yeah. And you just catch fish, any type of fish you would catch. Yeah. And it was, it was the same, wasn't it? I can remember years when the beaches were covered in slipping. Yeah, that wasn't long ago. No. It might have been probably seven or eight years ago. But no, I, yeah, I was thinking a bit more now. You just picked them out and put yeah. them on. Yeah. You didn't use any lug. And, and you, were, you wanted the stinky ones, didn't you? you didn't no, want... it didn't matter. No? I mean, I'd heard people saying that it had yeah. to be stinky. They say that, but it didn't seem to matter. I just picked uh, up any one from yeah. the beach. And we caught bass, flounders, biting. Some they, were, they were banned up in the northeast, weren't they? I think. Well, they're banned everywhere now to take off the beach, aren't they? All oh, right. You're not allowed to move them off the beach. Oh, right. Just out in invasive species. Yeah. But I think you can't stop you fishing them. Really. No. You're not allowed to take them out. Anywhere. It's it's weird though, isn't it? Because, and I've said this to a couple of people down there, that there are some some things that the fish eat. Yeah. But you won't if you use them as bait. You won't. It's like little hardback crabs, isn't that's it? That's right. Yeah. You know, the, the cod, you, you won't catch a cod that's not got a belly full of hardback crabs. No. But you, there's no point in putting them on as bait. It's like those sea mice, the Dungeness. Yeah. Every cod you caught there had a big sea mouse in its way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put one on, you can get, no. get a nibble. No, no. Hello, Martin. Hello, Carl. Have you caught any? No. <laughs> I've got one. I'm <laughs> getting razor fish up my rig. Yeah, oh, people have got other fish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, where have the flounder gone? Because yeah. there were, as you say, there were millions of them, weren't yeah. there, one time? Yeah, when the shellfish were here, you used to come over the seafood, didn't you? Fishing yeah. over there, because the fishing over there was so good. Well, but... Tide Mills, the British record was held at Tide Mills for about yeah. a that space of about two weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to walk back up, see if Tony's caught a second. See if he's got another one. He'd, yeah. He'd be see how big Gerald's was. Yeah, I picked his peg, so I hope he'd buy me a drink. I saw it! Was it sizeable? How big was it? 19. 19? Yeah. So just. Just, yeah. yeah well, a, one centimetre. Yeah. Right. From down there, I thought, ooh. I'll see you in a minute, innit? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. You look oh. tiny from there, aren't they? Yeah. I knew it was on there when I was reeling in, you could feel it with them. Yeah. No, no good. They've got nothing up no, there. No, nothing. They? Not a thing. Not a thing, bait's coming in untouched. Oh well it might might put you in third place in. Well no, because no. you've got oh, no, Gary Saint, Tony, yeah. and then yeah. Gary Banfield and Terry that yeah. I know of. Yeah. I, I don't know if there's any more. Oh Gary's Gary's had one as well, is he? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Alright. But of course you get I know what I get for that is six points. They get a ridiculous amount of points. 29 is 28 points, 26. Yeah. Tony's got 32 points. Yeah, and that's if he hasn't had any else. No, that's right. Never going to get it. All Only, right. Well, I'm going to walk back Even with another species. No. Oh, because well, you get species points, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to walk up. The weather's turning nasty as well, isn't it? Yeah. They reckon it's going to rain at 20 to 2. <laughs> 20 to He's, 2. Well, they've looked on the radar. All right. And that's what they reckon. Yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, in fact, you can you almost see it coming. Have you got enough filming over here, or? Sorry? Have you got enough film? Oh, I've got loads of film, loads of, loads of gas bagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 it's on my wish list. I've never caught it. Well, I have caught a squid, but I've not been fishing, but I've just caught them by accident. Yeah. But I would like to go and get them on a lure rod. We had them last summer. They yeah. were following the fish up. Yeah. So we said, right, next time, let it down again. Yeah. Come up again, one's coming up, we netted him. Oh, but right. I couldn't kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull it, it would have had black ink everywhere, but yeah, you know, nice eating. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go up and see how Tony's getting on, see if I can see yeah. Gary. Yeah, I said this gully might fill up with water. <laughs> I'm guessing Julian had to move again. In fact, you can see where he's moved. You can tell, you can tell that it's not fishing well because there's an awful lot of standing around gas bagging going on. People aren't concentrating on their rod tips. Oh, 
Oh, does, I'll does that in. count go out of species points, does it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll weigh that in if I can get yeah. away with it. Rag. Rag. Yeah. It's a rag. Yeah, he's caught some rag. Yeah, good solid pull down that yeah. one. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a little undersized dab. Oh right, good. okay. Oh, the rumour's gone down there, you've had a monster. No, nah, little, little, tiny little dab under the oh, right. oh, okay. What's coming up down there then? Nothing. Nothing at all? No, uh, Gerald's had one 19 centimetre place. Yeah, That's I the had, only fish down there. I had a 17 centimetre dab. Yeah. He's got a, a ling in the place. Oh, is he? Yeah. Tony's still got the one. Yeah. I think Tony's is the winner, isn't it? Looks like it, a minute. Yeah. There's nothing there. No. And I'm, I'm hearing from the ever, ever the optimist Ian Hopper, it's about to pour with rain. Yeah, it does look it. Yeah. They have full this afternoon. Yeah, but yeah. he's saying about, about 20 to 2, the radar picture's showing rain. But yeah, it probably is. It's raining over there, isn't it? Yeah. Might have missed us. Because, I mean, that's where, the, that's where the weather's coming from, there, isn't it? Yeah. What my radar picture is showing. You're gonna you're gonna whack out a bit of fish bait at the end, are you? I don't think we will do for the oh, last. Oh, but a squid, hour, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you tried so far, then, Gary? Mackerel, um, sand hill, and rag. Okay. And nothing showing in here. No, 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 no. I mean, they must be gorging on on razor clams. Got that, on that shoreline. Yeah. And loads of live ones down there. Yeah. And I've tried razor as well. Yeah. It doesn't seem to fish well as a bait though, does it? For some reason. No, I don't know why. Not even at night. No. It's weird. Some Sorry. people swear by it. Yeah. But you know what it's like, someone's, someone's caught a fish on it once and swears by it now. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think actually, I think uh, Kerry at the end there, I think the place he had was on a, on a cocktail. Yeah. Of, he said, I think he said he, caught, he picked up the rain. Yeah. Called it on there, it was a rain. Yeah, yeah, it's a rain. Set your watch by it. Is Ian not caught anything yet? No, Ian's blanking. We're all amongst good company then. Yeah. I don't feel so bad about blanking last night then. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, here's the rain. Yeah, right, let's get... On pack up, <laughs> well, I, I might just sit down and wait for the way. Where's the way in at the Aqua Club? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's here, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Probably in the gap. Yeah. Between the two yeah. Blocks, I think. Right, let's go see if Tony's had any more. And just when you think things couldn't get any worse, it starts to rain. And it, uh, it is chucking down a bit. I mean, the wind has picked up now. Yeah. Yeah, that's just what I was saying. When, when you think things can't get any worse, it decides to rain. Well, nothing at all, are you? You ain't rare, you and a lot of others, mate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, Gerald's just had a place. Yeah. Monster. Really? 19 centimetres. <laughs> so I think you're winning it. I know, but it's quite a way to go, isn't it? Well, is this? It must be getting near the time now. Yeah. Isn't it? Terrible, isn't it? Horrible, and as I say, when oh, things right. can't get any worse, it decides to rain. Yeah, I know. It's just going to finish it off. Have yeah, it's 20. One, yeah, 20. You've got another, you've got another 35 minutes. Yeah, no, I didn't think it happened for five yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, one doggy could do it, couldn't it? Yeah, one fish. Not any other points. That first bite, being Yeah. Active. Yeah, well, I mean. It, at least you've had bites. Most of the people down here haven't had that. No, that's right. Just that one bite. Yeah. So. Be nice to win two in a row, wouldn't it? it yeah. Well, I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking that very thought. It won't happen. If Tony will be happy. No, I think you won this. Nah. Someone to get a fish. You've got 18 people. Some still get same. Yeah, fish. maybe. Half out. Go. Mind you, you've had the best of it. Yeah. It's strange, sometimes it just throws a fish up, doesn't it? Yeah. When you've got 17 people. Yeah. Someone's going to get They must be 
bit of a load of razors. All fresh. No, quite. All on a high tide mark here. Yeah. And they must be, um, they, I thought they were just shells. No, they're, they they're razors. Oh, right, okay. So I put a couple on, but no good. They must be obsessed with them if they're there. Well, they must be right. full. I mean, yeah, the fish must be full. So they're, you know, they're not, they're not feeding because they're fed. They're, they're fed. Well, with that many washed up, yeah. there must be loads out yeah. there. They're just eating them for yeah. fun. Well, down that way, there's a big flock of goals that are feeding on them. Really? So, so some people are getting them coming up with a line, getting the razor clams wrapped up. Just yeah. Yeah. That you, you can't go and keep them or anything, really, because no. they're gone to die or no. not. No, no. Think. They've been in, washed up for a couple of days, I think. Just look. think where we had a big flow, but they keep washing up for the tide. No. They? Yeah, something's, something's happened, isn't it, to make that happen? My partner is today. Oh, right. I'd like to know that is. Yeah. I well, know uh, Kerry's with Keith, and they've got a fish each. Yeah. So they're going to do all right. But uh, I don't know who my partner is. Little Abby Dabby do, you can see this actually gut is full of razor clams. Yeah. What the fuck have you ever in there? Nothing. Nothing? Bir virtually nothing. Ger Gerald's just had a little tiny place. Uh, uh, so I think if that is probably going to put you ahead of Tony at the moment. But I mean, look at look at look at the gut on that on that. That is full of razor clams, isn't it? So that might be the match winner. Right, so it, it, it's all to be played for. But Kerry's overtaking him with a little dab, but then Tony's got a bite. So um, these competitions, you get uh, 10 points per species. So um, because Kerry's had two species, that puts him 20 points up. So what Tony needs now is he needs another species uh, and preferably something that's going to score more points than Kerry's dab. Now it was rattling and we got that on film. Seems to have disappeared. Wind it in and find out. Nothing. Yeah. Sometimes they get heavy. Wishful thinking. Just like going to whitey. Yeah, what you don't want is an undersized white, isn't it? Any flatty, Any flatty or a dingling even. Or a flounder. Flounder, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's as long as he's dab. But certainly, certainly size of one. Sorry. It's all right. Let's take a little picture of it before, before, before we put it in the bucket. So that's a little flounder. Happy days. Happy days. Put the tiny back in, probably at the top. Because of the species points. Oh, on the run. Looks like it's over 20, doesn't it? Oh, that's definitely, that's definitely. You brought me a bit of luck there, Chris. Oh, of course I have. You better do that. Oh, <laughs> right, come here. Well, slide up. 20, 20, 22. I think so, I don't know if you've got to put it. 21. 21. 
pull his tail. No, it's 21, you're right. 21. Yeah, 21, sorry. 21. Well, 21's 21. Yeah. Put your name on here, shall I? Line down here. Put your name on here. Yeah, lock it yourself. Again? We both caught one first. Yeah, yeah. We both, we both caught yeah. one at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's weird, isn't it? It's crazy, isn't it? You could that, could you? Yeah. And yet, it's not... Rim it's, the screen, isn't it? it's not that the fish are moving along the shore because no one else is getting them. Right, we've got four minutes to go. The rain is bucketing down. Um, we're watching this rod tip anxiously. It ain't moving. And I'm not well, very I don't happy. know. I think I think it is, but um, maybe I've just got wishful thinking. But what a difference a day makes! It was lovely. The sun was shining earlier on. We've got this really horrible weather coming now, haven't we? So next couple of days, it's going to be blowing gales. Yeah. Saturday's a lovely day. Is it? Yeah. If I wouldn't, you know, I'd, I'd do a little match Saturday, but with the other match on Sunday, yeah. it's a bit much. But Saturday's not such a lovely day, it's yeah. dead flat, yeah. it's going to be half sunny and not that cold. And Sunday's going to be a bit like this. It's going to be okay and it's going to get up. Yeah. The wind's going to get up in the first hour, a couple of hours, eh? They'll probably come up with the tide, you know? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I know. No. Two minutes to go. The clock is ticking down. Tony's nervous because he thinks that Kerry might have had a bite. No. One minute to go. That's it, two o'clock. Yep. No bite on here, I think. Yeah, nothing on Tony's and nothing on Kerry's. Right, so let's get to the weigh-in and see if we've managed to do it. Well, this time of the year, you know, it, it's a bit scratchy. It can be a bit scratchy and we've had a couple of scratchy matches. So for you that have come along and watched the, the, the channel and watched the video, um, I hope you're not too disappointed in the fishing, but um, it was still a good day. We've all had a laugh. Um, yeah, so let's see who won. Today's result, boys. Right, uh, in first place with 60 points, two fish, Tony Kerridge. Yeah. In second <laughs> place, <laughs> with two fish again, the fifth just behind, fishing next to each other, Kerry Sane. Yeah. Well now, Kerry. I've, I've done the incubations down like five pounds, so it's um, 40, 35. In third place, with two fish, 50 points, Keith Herridge. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. In fourth place, uh, Terry Taylor uh, with 18 points. Gerald Sargent, fifth place, place. I'll take 16 I'll points. I'll take for it. What do you know? Some no. people don't like people taking them. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it and spend it. That's me enough. Hey, if that's the point, I'll have your money. <laughs> you owe me enough. Yeah. Right, and still in sixth place. <laughs> and in sixth place, no, Bernie Vivian. Hey! What up, Vern? Thank you. Oh, no. oh, nice one, that was. 25, eh? Yeah. Wow. No, he's got 15. Yeah. 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 And the pairs with us is with a hundred and odd points. He's Keith Andrews' partner. Kerry. Kerry. Next is Tony Kerridge with Bill Chapman. When's the next one in? So two weeks today. Two weeks today. And it's going to be at Splash Point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, hopefully we'll be playing for a lot of time.